You guys, today I am so excited to show you my new Lux Germ um, limited edition for this year to celebrate their 100th anniversary year, their silver, gold, and they call it copper. Oh my goodness. At first, I just thought, okay, I don't even like bullet journal every day. You know, I don't use it for my calendar or my weekly. I only use my bullet journal for like my lists and stuff and um, keeping different things in there. So my bullet journal will probably last me like probably like two years before I run out of space in it, at least a year. And I was like, okay, these are more expensive. You can't get them on Amazon. You have to get them from the Leuchtturm site. Um, so I wasn't going to buy all three. Plus they have insane shipping from the Leuchtturm site. And I am like always against paying for shipping. I try to wait for free shipping sales on most things or order from places that offer free shipping. Anyway, so it's not like me. And I was just going to order the copper. And my sister went ahead and ordered just the copper when I did my order. And I have to say, if you can only get one, unless you're like an all silver person or you're a real gold lover, then I would say, I think maybe the copper is the coolest, but I don't know. I love all of them together. And I was like, you know what? I am going to save these. They probably won't be for my daily list. These will probably become like journals for me. I want them to be something special because they are just so beautiful and they're limited edition. So when I ordered them though on their site, what they said was they're not available. Like they were on back order until like September. So I was like, okay, well, you know, I'll order them still. But um, I was so excited. They came just a few days later. Um, so I don't know what's wrong with their site that it was saying that. Also, the way they came, I didn't think they shipped them very well. For the fact that to ship four of these, because I shipped my sister's with mine too, I believe was $13.95. Yeah, don't even ask me about that. I just think it's astronomical. I would have thought that they could ship them nicely in a box. But instead, they each come wrapped in their plastic cellophane, but they put them into a, a bubble wrap U.S. mail or a bubble wrap U.S. mail envelope and then put that one inside of another one. So like double bubble wrap envelopes of just the U.S. mail bubble wrap envelopes. So I don't think they're protected that very well when they're sending them. Yeah, mine really aren't damaged, but there is like a hole in there, a punch in. This corner is kind of deformed. And when you're paying that much, each one of these is $25.50, more than the normal colors on Amazon, which are usually about $20. Um, and then you get free shipping from Amazon. And so these really were a big splurge for me. But they are beautiful. I don't think on camera can do them justice um, with like really how beautiful they are. Like I don't even want to use them right now. <laughs> Which I'm not like that. I'm a believer in like you write in your paper, you enjoy it, you know, but um, I didn't have an intended purpose yet when I got these other than I wanted to collect them because they're beautiful and you know, I'm going to have to keep the labels. Uh, I don't know, at least for a while. They're beautiful too, but I wanted to do a quick run through besides raving about the colors and talk to you about how they're a little bit different from the Leuchtturms that are sold on Amazon. So here's my Amazon one, which I already have a whole video on. If you want to see how I'm using it, I have a whole video on this, how I'm using it since I don't use it for drawing out a monthly or a weekly calendar. But I did not mean to order this plain khaki color. I already told you guys that in my video too, but I want to make sure you don't make the same mistake on Amazon. This color is called sand and the pictures on Amazon look to have a goldish color. They look more like this in the pictures. And that was before I knew these were out. If I knew these were out, I would have just bought these and not even bought this off Amazon and probably would have bought an extra one of these to start using right now. Um, but I didn't know these were out when I got this one. And um, so it came as this plain khaki color and it wasn't worth it to me to go through it with Amazon and send it back. But it's really not like I would have chosen navy blue, I think, because um, I love navy. I wouldn't have chosen this plain khaki color. So I didn't mean to order this color on Amazon. And when I wrote a review about it not being the pictures needed to be changed out to look khaki, 
they wrote me back saying, you know, my review wasn't about the product or whatever, and they weren't going to publish it. And I just didn't even want to deal with it anymore because life is too short. So, but I do want to warn y'all. Um, so here's the differences. Let me show you in just one of these beauties. Um, oh yeah, it's beautiful. Oh my word. So you get the same cards um, that you get with your other ones. Just the labels are prettier. And when you open it up, the printing's a little bit darker on this page um, and on the other pages, I'll show you. Um, but they have everything in German and then in English. And um, they have more writing here and kind of a different fill in your name page. So it's a little bit different fill in your name page and it's darker print. Then you go and the main difference is how the table of contents looks different. They don't start it right on this page anymore. They start it here and it's just done a little bit different and it's printed darker and I actually like it better. So I'll try to show you guys a close up and the sun just kind of left us for my lighting. So I'm sorry about that. Um, so that's what the new table of contents looks like. Now, I don't know if this is how all their newer bullet journals are coming or if it is just in the 1917. And this is the other one. So I, I don't know if it's just these special editions. Oh, and they only give you two pages. Of course, you can use the back blank side and you can use the front blank side if you wanted to start there. They're giving you less table of contents, just two pages. And this one... You have one, two, three, and then you have a blank. So you have a whole extra table of contents pages in this one. Um, then after the table of contents, let's see if I think the dots look darker. Um, no, the dots don't look darker to me. The dots look pretty much the same to me. If anything, they're a teeny bit smaller in this special bronze edition or copper, what they're calling it. Then... Here's the other difference. Oh yeah, I like this. The page numbers in this new edition are printed bigger and darker. And it even looks like a different font. Let's turn to 16 in here. Well, I have a bunch of writing on page 16, but yeah, it is a different font for the numbers. Let's go to page 39, because I just flipped there, so we can compare the exact same numbers. Okay, there is 39 in the new bronze. There you go. And here is 39 in my khaki, which I recently ordered off Amazon, literally like four weeks ago or less. So um, let's see if we can get them in the same shot. Um, probably not because of the shadowing there. Anyway, the old versus the bronze, the new on the bottom. So it's bigger and it's a different font. And it's darker, which you probably can't tell on here with the shadowing, but I really like it. I do. I know it's not that big of a change, but I know you bullet journal uh, lovers love to see that. Um, so it, other than that, the rest looks the same. The perforated pages at the end. Um, the two bookmarks in this one, in case you're wondering on the colors, are kind of a coppery and then the lined coppery. Um, so it's pretty. It is. It's pretty. I love how they matched those to the copper. That I love that. And of course, your band matches your copper. And um, this is printed darker at the back. Your Lloyd's Germ 1917. And look, your labeling stickers are done in bronze. It's really pretty. I don't think it's probably showing up well enough. So I love that the labeling stickers, in case you don't know, these are to label the side of your book or the front when you're done writing in it so you can have them stacked in your bookshelf and like archived. Um, and I love the big pocket. It looks the same and looks great. I will put the copper labels in there and we will look at the other labels. Um, you know what? I'm not getting those in there well and I don't want to bend them. So that is the copper one. And the gold and the silver are going to be just the same except for the, let's move this down. Um, let's see. Let's look at their labels. Oh yeah, the gold. That's pretty. They did a good job. Yes, I love this attention to detail that you're paying this much for it 
This is definitely going to be a special book kept for my whole life. Probably definitely put journal um, things in here, like either when I use up my scripture journal or my normal journal that I'm in right now, which I'm using Inkwell sewn journals for both of those things right now. I have a whole video on how I am using uh, what I'm using for journaling right now, and it's the Inkwell sewn journals for my scripture journal and my normal journal. But I will probably switch to one of these special editions when I run out of room in one of those because I don't think there's anything else that I would want to use them for. But something like that, that would be special and kept and archived. Um, so those were the labels. And, oh yeah, the bookmark. We wanted to see those. So they made it gold and gold striped with gray. Just like the other one was bronze and bronze striped with gray. So um, they really are pretty. I think they couldn't have done anything else to it. Um, I don't think that... The camera is probably picking it up enough. And then I will show you the silver. And then we will have wrapped it up because there's really nothing else different about these books. But I think if you can afford it and you love bullet journals, I would totally recommend getting them. I would say they're 100% worth the price because they are just beautiful. I mean, I would even love to order a whole nother set to have just on hand for the rest of my life because who knows if they'll ever offer them again in my lifetime in these colors? Probably not. There's the silver, pretty strings, and silver. That's really pretty. They did a good job. And I am one that thinks you can never have too many journals sitting waiting to be used because that's just how I feel. I'm a paper person. So, um, yeah, I would not hesitate to buy these if you can afford them, if it's in your budget, because I don't think you will regret it one bit. They are each beautiful in their own right, and I will switch them up because I kind of always kept them in that same order, huh, to show you how they look in different lighting, and I love them. It was seriously like Christmas for me the day that these came. <laughs> so exciting. So anyway, I hope that if you guys love them as much as I do, that you're able to get your hands on one at least or all of them. And um, if here's an idea. If you have friends who are ordering them, you might go in together if you live close to each other on shipping. My sister has a lot of stuff shipped to my house anyway, but that just saved her on shipping. Like, so we divided the shipping and she only has to pay like $3 for shipping because I ordered three and she ordered one. So what it comes out to is basically like I ordered four and it's like $3 of shipping for each. But if you just ordered one, it's not like that. It's, I mean, if you're just ordering one, I can't remember, but it was, you know, like seven or more dollars for just one. So if, Anyway, if you want them all or if you want to go in with someone, I would highly recommend that. Okay, have a great day, you guys. Thanks for supporting. And we will see you another day with other fun journaling paper planner stuff. Bye.